browsers and found uh, consistent location. Hmm? So it's a large location. If you take a natural genome sequence and you want to produce it through chemical synthesis, this is very challenging. And so we used a computer algorithm to simplify this natural genome sequence and rewrite the sequence into an artificial uh, sequence of DNA letters that is easy to manufacture. This is the model organism Colobacter crescentis. It's a freshwater organism. And we used the natural genome of Colobacter to, to feed into our algorithm to produce then the rewritten genome of Colobacter etiensis. This is the natural cell from Colobacter crescentis, the natural bacterium that lives in lakes and rivers. And here we can see a bacterial cell that is just now dividing. We did not put yet the entire genome into a single bacterial cell, but we transferred segments of these genomes, 37, into individual bacterial cells and tested these genome segments for functionality. So to have a fully operational cell, you would need every gene to work perfectly. And in the current design, we have roughly 100 design flaws. And these design flaws are very interesting also from a fundamental research perspective. They show us all the gaps in our knowledge. So, node cartridge. Let's go in and then we can sequence the full genome information. No. If you can write an entire microbial genome, there are many applications. Uh, for instance, you could think about producing a genome to make a synthetic cell that will produce vitamins. Or you can think about that you can produce a tailor-made microbe that will produce complex chemicals that can be used in therapies. Another application that can be foreseen is that we produce synthetic genomes and use them as DNA vaccines. The huge benefit of designing synthetic bacteria is that you have the control of what you want to create. It means of a biotechnological application, you can design every part of this complex machine, which a cell is, to make vitamins, to make therapeutics, and so on. And in these perspectives, a fully designed cell has better performance, so that means it has to eat less nutrient to produce the same amount, to get the same amount of, of vitamins or therapeutics.